morning, everybody. Good to see you all. All right, Mark, good to see you. Chuck, Casey, good to see you. I tell you, it feels like a Friday, doesn't it? Beautiful out, summer. I think we're probably having one of the most nicest uh, summers in a long, long time. Just great weather here in New York. Good to see you all. Looks like we got away from that heat wave. All right, so um, let me tell you, we've got a lot of big events coming up. Uh, we just finished phase three. Let me tell you guys, um, you really, if you're a student, I know some of you um, are, are in, in the room. Some of, and We do live trading. If you missed any of them, I'm telling you, you have to watch yesterday's phase three lesson that I did. Um, more towards the end of phase three, you know, in the morning meeting and early, early, the, the beginning of uh, phase three, lesson four, because, you know, one of the greatest things that came about of that, that class is that, you know, um, I did some trades and I lost money on trades. Okay. And, and, and listen, our job is not to teach you how to make money, it's to teach you how to stop losing it. Okay. And if I didn't take these losses, I would have got crushed. But that's not the excitement part of it, you know? The exciting part of it is that when we were looking at, uh, looking at the stock, we saw the stock had these humongous iceberg orders, not only for the intraday, but long-term, huge support levels. And some of us always kind of think about like, you know, like, oh, it's, it, we're coming to some major support levels. I'm using my indicators. This is the buy, this, and buy it. And boom, it busts right through it. Not once. Not twice, like several times, major support levels. And, you know, and it did everything we were trained what it was supposed to do. And, you know, it's, and the reason why I bring this up is you always get people always look at trading like, oh, you know, um, you know, you, regarding about how do you know those are real orders? Uh, do, do, you know, it, it, are those orders getting executed with time and sales? This explained it perfectly. And you know what? As uh, when you teach classes, and one thing that makes us very unique compared to anyone else, not too many people practice what they preach. And to see those trades happening in real time and seeing how those orders are getting executed, and also being a level four, level five stock, which a lot of us really pretty much were able to follow along, it just worked out in our favor. So um, I really think you guys need to see it, especially, you know, how to control a loss. I think it was just a great class. So um, I wanted to point up to that. Now, What's going on uh, regarding this week? Obviously, you, you know, you, you saw Tom Sosnoff uh, from Tasty Works. Great presentation. I'm glad you guys were able to see it. Always having fun to have him on. And uh, if you missed it, it's been recorded. So make sure you go on our YouTube channel. You can watch it. But today's really a really big, big day. Okay. Today's day, uh, we're, we're starting the Cyber Expo. We got HEMA. We got Michael, uh, we got Michael Gu uh, Guest. We got Barry, uh, Barry Burns. You have myself. Uh, we do we do the Cyber Expo almost uh, every quarter of the year, and this is our big event that we do here at Cybertrain University. Just like you guys want to join, uh, go to an expo, you know, an on-site, we do our own, um, and this is a great opportunity to see it. So if you're in the Cyber Group room, what's great about it, you know, you have two monitors. Just go out there and just make sure you're in the Cyber Group room and you're in the trading room, and if you're listening online or any of our YouTube channels, make sure you get a chance to come in and view it, but it's going to be a really exciting, great, great presenters. You're talking to all of us. You're talking over 100 years of professional experience. Okay, guys. So look, you got the link up there. Just click on it and make sure you register for it. Um, now, regarding about yesterday about the Fed announcement, you know, listen, the market took a big hit yesterday. They expected to be a little bit of a bigger one, but you know what? They, they said they're going to do more. So listen. The big thing about trading is you got to know how to capitalize on the winners uh, and take law and take profits and buy things cheaper. That's what trading is all about. That's what we teach you. It's not like a buy or hold thing. You know what? You'll make more getting in and out of it than if you, than if you just buy and hold. You know what I mean? So that's where that comes into it. And I know we had a really good um, short in AMD uh, yesterday. Let me go to the actual screen right here. AMD, we had a really nice short yesterday. And, uh, you know, you just see how the market trades. I mean, all these stocks had some really nice rallies. And you could see when you had that little pop right there, but she came right back down to that support levels. Nasty stock show. We sort of saw some nasty shakes in it. Now, regarding what happened also yesterday, before we go through the watch list and talk about what is moving, let's just look at a couple of things. So AMD had earnings. 
We all know about Apple. You know, Apple had great earnings, and uh, you know what? It came right back to it, lost everything. That big profit just basically gave it all back. That one. And uh, what do we had? GE had good earnings. Didn't really work out too well for that one. You got Fit. <laughs> that one's taking a major hit. I'm telling you, Fit is finished. Okay, and that makes you that actually rhymes, right? So Fit guys, just listen. Fitbit, you know, between the Apple phone and this and that. I mean, they spend a lot of money, and uh, unless they come out with some, you know, it's it's like the GoPro. You know what I mean? Unless they come out with 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 something with residuals and this and that. I'm telling you, I, these are like like a fad. And you know what was another one that was a fad? The Yeti. Let's look at Yeti. You know, I always go to the store. Did anybody ever buy a Yeti, by the way? A Yeti cooler? Anyone out there bought a Yeti cooler? Very, I mean, this, this, this company just went public not too long ago. Very cool concept. Um, weighs about 1,000 pounds. I don't think a lot of us wouldn't really go out there. It, 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 you know what? It is very expensive. And you know what's so funny? They're never on sale. They don't, give, they don't discount this thing at all. And it's, it is. It's very, very expensive. Now they're starting to make some pretty good knockoffs of it. But I guess, like, if you have a nice boat and you want to, like, a, something to show off, I guess it's like walking around with a Chanel bag. You know, it's a, it's a cooler for guys, maybe. I don't know. But, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of time. It's going to take a big hit. So, I, you know, like, um, you know, like Goose. Goose took off. Big numbers. Everyone did great. But I think that jacket eventually is going to get played out. But um, but keep an eye on the Yeti. I mean, it's 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 pretty much all over the place. It took a big hit. It, look, it went from 40, 37 down to twenty to thirty two this morning. I don't know how it bounced back, but I, when I was looking at it, this thing took a major hit this morning. So, pretty volatile stock, if you ask me. So we got the Yeti. We got that one. We're gonna keep an eye on that one. And by the way, the stock that I was telling you about was the TWOU. All right, that's the one that got crushed. TWOU. Just keep an eye on it. Let me tell you, when we traded the stock, we bought it. We bought it here on the bounce, right here around fifteen. It busted through that support. We bought it at support levels right here when it was at thirteen, and it busted right through it. I mean, I'm telling you, great, great, great orders getting executed. I think you guys need to watch that video. All right, uh, great lesson. But that's the stock. But I'm throwing this back on the watch list. Because this stock took a major hit. I know it's at major support levels. Let's see if it holds here. But she did made a little bit of a comeback around 3 o'clock when she went from 12 to about 12.50. But I want to see how she, tra how she basically hovers here for a little while. So that one's going back on the watch list. Now, a couple of other stocks that are made the watch list here. SPWR is another one we saw in pre-market. Um, she gapped up pretty nicely as, uh, regarding earnings. She's kind of holding right here. It got some decent volume. Great iceberg orders on the right. That one's not bad. The ugly shoes, Crocs, making a big comeback from what I heard. Watching TV. Crocs, keep an eye on that one. That one's gapping up a little bit nicely. It's got a little Fausto flag. Spread looks pretty decent. Not, not too many orders out there on level three. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. Remember, you got to follow the money, guys. Follow the money. And, you know, the level three is what helped us out with that. CF. MS, this one's taking a nice little hit right here, down 31%. Not a lot of shares, got some decent orders out there. You could see 4,800 at a buck 83, 8,000 at a buck 90. So we're testing some, um, you know, stock had a really nice run since the beginning of the year. I think it was at 50 cents, then we went to 450. So whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. We'll keep an eye on that one. PS is another one getting crushed. You want to hold overnights, God bless you. You know what I mean? After hours, I think I went from 31 down to 20. It's, you know, one thing I like about it, it's, it's testing some support levels here. You can see from, the, from, from December right there. Let's see if she holds there. So that one looks pretty decent. I like, you know me, I'm a bottom fisher, so I love stocks like that. WLL is another one that made the watch list. Looks like a really nice short right here. It's above $5, so a lot of it should be on your short list. I guess it came out of earnings after hours too. Remember, big earnings, uh, earnings week. Stock taking a big hit right here. It looks like it's trending down. Just be very careful. The stock's got some nasty shakes in it as I was watching it. Yeti already told you about. 
FIVN. There's a lot of stocks today, guys. Thursday, you know, um, five nine. Don't know what it is. I don't care. But had good earnings, and the stock is hovering pretty high. Breaking a 52-week high. That one looks pretty de decent. Here's a good level one stock for all you beginner traders. Zenya. We traded Zenya uh, many times. So if you're a beginner and you're still kind of scared, or you are a level five trader, you could trade a lot of shares of the stock. But this stock looks like it's got some good volatility this morning. Zenya. LBY. Is that one look any good? Mm. You know, the stock took a big hit. I, I thought I want to maybe keep an eye on it. I don't know. We'll see how she opens up. I'll use this as a second protocol. DANF, another one, up 13%. Great volume. I thought I liked this a little bit better because this one also took a major, major hit. Back in April, the stock was $24. Look at this. Then we went down to you know $290. She's gapped up a little bit more in pre-market. Looks like she's got a little pennant going on right now, but you know what? It's got some support and resistance levels going back about a month. So um, got great volume. Look at the tier sizes on level three. Just gorgeous. So this stock could be pretty decent. I like this stock right here too. Remember, we're looking for volatility, not quality. <laughs> HGV, another one taking a nice hit, 480,000 shares. I don't know where that volume came from because on level three, I don't really see any orders out there. But she is trending now. She could be a good short. But this is going to be, I'm already classifying it on the safe side, a level three, because look at the spread already in pre-market. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> I think I, drug stocks do not come back. That's right, Ken. And you should know better than me, being a pharmacist yourself, right? And then we have some pharmaceutical uh, salesmen in here. Every, we have some people that are also chemists in here. We talk about it all the time, so be very, very careful. But you know, you know what kills me about this stock right here? Look at the name. HGV, Hilton Grand Vacations. Did you ever, I, did you ever thought that they, they, that they even went public? Looks like they split the company from Hilton, from Hilton Grand Vacations. I guess not too many people are buying that stuff anymore, huh? Well, anyway, talking about volatility, right? This is a beautiful, classic type of a trade. In one year, sell it at 33, buy it down at 24. Sell it at 33, buy it back at 25. Sell it at 33. Guess where we are? Right back to 25. <laughs> so it could be a good bounce right here. But let me tell you, I this is this is like a typical day trade over the course of a year. This is gorgeous. I like this one. So it, it could probably be a good swing trade. It could probably be a good swing trade. The rate that we're seeing how the stock is trending. I just don't like that we have no tier sizes out there. All right, guys. So we got our watch list. Sorry we went a little bit behind. You got about... Uh, 15, a little less than 15 minutes, but the market opens up. Just don't forget, everybody. Very, very big day here at Cyber Train University Cyber Expo. We got four great presenters that are going to be here. We're going to be starting at 11 o'clock, so it'll be right enough time after you guys get started. If you have not registered, please click on the link and register for it. You're going to learn a little bit about everything, swing trading, day trading, options trading, uh, day trading, everything. Trading. That's what we're going to talk about. Some really good guys, tech, some little technical analysis here and there. But, um, but guys, remember, being a great trader, it all starts by learning. Whoever learns wins, all right? So um, remember, you could be in the cyber group room and be in the event. And if you're not part of CTU and you're watching this on our YouTube or Facebook, look forward to seeing you at Cyber Expo. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you all uh, at 1 o'clock.